Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wisdom and Light here, and I am back with another monthly horoscope. This message is going to be for my Aries, gang, 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 for my Aries, sun, moon, or rising. If you are an Aries sun, Aries moon, gang, Aries rising, your Mars is in Aries, your Venus is in Aries, this message is for you. I'm so happy to be back. I've just been doing readings and... Just behind the scenes getting things done and that's still the energy but I had to take a moment to stop and just give you guys some positive messages and I underestimated how many people needed to hear good fucking news and I've just been with everyone but we're here we're here and we're gonna see what's happening around Aries Ooh, Aries you guys feel overwhelmed that's the energy that I'm feeling for Aries. You guys feel overwhelmed. It's an overwhelming energy for Aries. What is going on? What is happening around Aries? You guys feel overwhelmed. You guys feel overwhelmed. Okay. Overwhelming energy. Why do you guys feel overwhelmed? Aries, sun, moon, are rising. So, you know, sit back, relax. Get some snacks. You're in good hands. I'm hearing a lot of information for Aries. And this is a general reading as well, guys. Not every message is going to apply to you because it belongs to somebody else. But please, please grab what resonates. All right. Aries. 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 Mm. justice y'all heard that mm. that's what haitians do a lot i'm haitian so we do that a lot we're like mm. we do that a lot <laughs> if you're from the islands you know what that is you like <laughs> if you're from the islands you know what that is but yes um even if you're spanish a lot of um the elders do that like mm, girl like they <laughs> just seeing this spread i'm like mm. okay hmm okay Okay, so let's dive on in. Let's, let's talk. And this is a Labradorite, if you guys are wondering. I like to hold it. It's a palm stone. So Aries, I do feel that stuff from your past is going to start resurfacing, okay? Now, I don't know everyone's situation personally, so again, please grab what resonates. But whatever that you felt that was done in the dark, that was done behind your back, that was done in secrecy, is going to resurface. And this feels like answers you questions that you needed answers for and you never received answers up until recently so for some of you this could be family scandals that's going to be resurfacing in the next 90 days family scandals i heard that loud and clear this can also mean relationship scandals okay now this doesn't mean that a scandal is happening with you but maybe it's indirectly about to happen to you. It can be as crazy as you're with a man, you love him, it's great, and then boom, a child reaches out, you're my father. And you thought he never had no kids. It could be as wild as that. It's talking about stuff coming up the surface that a lot of people kind of put to the wayside but you always had this in the back of your mind that this could develop into something or it could come back 
and life is like a boomerang and I feel that whatever this is it's coming back for you to address it or for everything to be addressed and everything to be just cleansed of whatever that this could be now for some Aries this could bring a little bit of anxiety. Um, I, I'm, I'm not trying to trigger y'all, but I got to just say it like it is. There's been a lot of secrets or there's just been a lot of people not telling the truth. And I do feel that finally you're going to be receiving clarity within the next 90 days. Okay. So that's coming through. Now here's another um, good thing about this reading. Here's another good message. Even though things are being brought back up or people are coming back because we are in a Mercury retrograde, so communication and speaking is going to be happening. You got the justice card, so your suspicions are going to be vindicated. And I hear a lot of you guys saying, I told you so. So some of this drama that I'm seeing actually has nothing to do with you. Some of this drama is stuff that you've been telling your friends or stuff that you've been telling your mom, stuff that you've been telling your dad, stuff that people have been telling you, and now it's happening. It's happening. And there's no way for anyone to escape Judgment Day. Now, the Judgment card didn't show up in this reading, but the Justice card did. So this is a huge indication for me, based on what I'm picking up, is that a lot of you are not even much so in this crazy drama, but a lot of you guys are intuitive and a lot of you guys are picking up on some things. So that's the first message that I heard. For some Aries, I am picking up that things didn't go as planned, okay? Things are just a little bit weird, but things are going to pick up, okay? Things are going to get better, okay? Now, when I talked about things coming up the surface and things being revealed, it doesn't have to be a bad thing, but it's clarity, and it's clarity that is needed for Aries to make decisions moving forward. Aries, I'm also seeing that you're thinking about money. You're thinking about how you're going to save towards it, how you're going to grow it. You're wondering your next move. Some of you guys could own a business. Maybe you're looking into taxes. Some of you guys are trying to get a new car some of you guys are really trying to level up some of you guys are running low on money or you have the money but you can't just spend it freely and there is an energy around you guys where money just can't be like blown and spent on stupid stuff so be very mindful of your spending for the next 60 days be very very mindful of your spending keep it at a minimum on the things that you buy and i do feel like this energy is going to be changing around the month of august where money is going to start flowing in. Because we do have the Seven of Pentacles that graces your reading. It's not a bad energy at all. It just means that this is the time for you to really evaluate how you're going to move forward. How are you going to create this abundance? So a lot of you guys, I see a lot of you guys creating business plans on how you're going to make this happen for yourself. That's coming through for um, Aries as well. Aries, I'm also picking up on moving. I'm picking up on relocating. I'm picking up on um, traveling. Okay. This is something that I am feeling around you. I do feel a change that's needed. Maybe where you're living is too expensive, so you need to move somewhere where it's more affordable. I just feel a shift and a change in things happening around Aries. Okay? And then you mix that with things coming to light. What was in the dark is coming to light. And even though, yes, it's like it sounds heavy, this is going to set you all free, actually. That's why I'm not going to say that this is a bad energy. It's not. It's releasing. It's purging. Have you guys been setting the intention to release and purge, to let this go, to let this flow, to be washed off of this? Okay? Some of you guys are under the impression that your partner is not being faithful to you. You know? Some of you guys could be under the impression that family is lying and things might be coming out. Again, whatever these suspicions are, I do feel like clarity is on the horizon. Now, we have the moon that literally is in the center of the reading. The moon talks about illusions, okay? And you're going to see a lot of things unravel. So I feel that July is going to be an emotional month for, um, for Aries, because it's not that it's bad for you, but the people around you could be going through things that are so heavy that it might affect you indirectly. It might make you feel like, what can I do to protect this person? How can I make it better? 
And then you guys mix that with so many people being very dependent on you. And you're wondering, how am I going to provide for my family? As the world is changing and doing a lot of things, how can I guarantee that I can provide? How can I guarantee that I'm going to be okay? How can I guarantee that everything's going to be good? So right now, Aries, you're not getting an answer. So this is probably why a lot of Aries were like hitting me up like, girl, I need this reading. And you guys have been on my mind very heavy. I've just been keeping my head below the ground, working and making sure that I'm there for everyone so nobody gets mad at me because I get sad when people get mad at me. It makes me sad. But um, of all the signs, you guys were the ones that were reaching out to me the most, actually. Because there's a shift that's happening for Aries and it feels emotional. And I know that a lot of you guys don't like to address y'all emotions like that, but it's here. But you know something, it needed to happen so you can make better decisions going forward, okay? What does Aries need to know for their highest good? It just feels like things are being revealed. Like the puzzle is going to be completed. For a lot of you, it's family. A lot of you has got nothing to do with y'all. But for some of you, it could be maybe you found out a detail about your ex. Maybe you found out a detail about your, your, your partner. Maybe you found a detail and it's like, huh, well, that's all making sense. Some of you might not receive it well. Some of you might be happy that you know, but some of you might have this moon energy of just kind of like, I don't know how this makes me feel. For some Aries, this is a general reading. I'm trying to do my best to pick up on everyone. You guys have been suspicious about someone. And your suspicions are being confirmed. And it's making you sad to come to that realization. That's what I'm seeing. It's making you sad to realize that, oh my God, this could be something that's actually happening around me. So then we have relationships. This is circling around relationships. Tough information coming in for Aries surrounding relationships and family. It could be as distant as a cousin of yours. You just found out that they're having a hard time and they're doing substance abuse. They're having a hard time with substance abuse. Or it could be something going on in your relationship. But whatever that this is, it's going to set you free because you've been suspicious of this behavior. We have regret. Okay. So for some Aries, um, some of you guys know that you cannot change the past you cannot rewrite the past but what we can do is heal from it okay aries i'm encouraging you guys to heal whatever that this is accept it take it move on accept it take it move on because you're hurting yourself even more acting like this isn't happening or that you're not a lot of you guys are not listening to your intuition either. And it's actually self-sabotaging to ignore your higher self. We can't change the past, but we can heal from it. Okay? And we have pride. Okay? Don't let your pride get in the way. And also, love yourself and see yourself as beautiful is what I hear. So, what are the love messages coming in for... Aries, Aries, love messages for Aries, love messages for Aries, love messages for Aries. Retreat, healing, oh my God, oh my God. Look at that. A lot of Aries are getting an apology. Stay optimistic about your love life. Again, whatever this news is, it's going to set you free. Whatever it is. And you're going to be like, now I can move on. And if you're not getting an apology, y'all need to forgive yourselves. That's what I'm hearing. You're doing the best that you can. You're amazing. Your family loves you. You are loved. But don't be so hard on yourself. Aries, I don't even... Cause 
again, I don't want to say more because I don't want to trigger anybody because I know how sensitive people are when they receive these general readings. I know. So I'm very, very careful on the things that I say, but I'm even sensing a lot of Aries are realizing, and I, again, a lot of Aries are realizing that someone that they love is sick or passing or you're scared some of you are going through that okay so again i'm not saying that these people are going to pass on but there is a fear around will i have the time to speak to this person before they're gone will i have the time to make this right and aries i'm here to tell you don't let your anger get the best of you make it right there's news that are coming up and you know covid is still out so again this is not for everybody, but this is for a select few Aries. I want you guys to be strong and not act like it's not happening. Because the moment that you hear the news and you accept it for what it is, that gives you the strength to be the Aries that I know that you guys are. That fiery, protective, nobody's going to come near this person or nobody's going to disrupt this person. Okay? That's for some Aries, not all, please please hear me some not all i am not saying that this person is going to pass on no but i'm picking up on fear surrounding someone that you care about for some and i want to say a good 20 percent of aries not everybody so again please grab what resonates take it receive the message move on forward but what we want is for this person to heal and i do feel that this person is going to get better for a lot of you that are very concerned about someone that you love that you're feeling that something is off okay so that's coming through in the reading as well trust finances and career a lot of you guys are thinking about money a lot of you guys have to step up and a lot of you guys are praying for love to step in and I do feel like your answers, your prayers are being answered. They're being received. So you're not being ignored. Okay. So Aries, July is just going to be emotional. We're in cancer season. We're in a Mercury retrograde. The Mercury retrograde ends July 12th, but we're in the shadow period and everything doesn't start to clear up until literally August. So Aries, take a deep breath, relax, receive all information that could be coming in, don't ignore it, acknowledge it, accept a reality of something for what it is too. Don't ignore it, don't hide from it, and don't act like it's not happening because that was also, that's what's going to get you caught up. So Aries, this is going to be a huge focus on family for the next 60 days, a huge focus on past connections coming back for you to heal from it, and also just taking care of yourself, healing yourself, doing for yourself, being good for yourself. Forgiveness. Forgiveness needs to take place. Okay? Abundance will happen when you forgive. Forgive them. Let this go. So this can set you free. And what is the ending energy once they do all of this? I got the chariot. Moving on. Moving forward. You guys are going to be okay. And whatever this is, is going to bring everyone closer. Anyways, guys, I love you. This reading was deep, <laughs> but it was needed. Um, and I hope I help enough people that needed to hear this message. But, um, yeah, we're going to talk again. I love y'all. Please be safe. Mwah. Bye. 
Yeah, I had to come back. I think Aries is going to be a longer video than everyone else's because the energy around you guys is very releasing and heavy. I couldn't just leave you guys without some positive messages. So, not that the reading wasn't positive. I just felt that like, shit, that's heavy. And even though, yeah, that could be developing and happening, there's a lot of good that's happening around Aries too. So, I wanted that to be a good balance. So, we're back. <laughs> I wanted there to be a good balance. I meditated. I was getting ready to jump on the next zodiac sign, but they're like, nope, come back to Aries. So Aries is getting a two for one deal. <laughs> a two for one message, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But um, yes. So let me look for, I don't think this, like, mm, hold on. Let me get a different guy. We're gonna use tarot, but I'm gonna use um the sacred. I'm gonna use the sacred travelers. This is a very good um oracle deck. This is what it looks like if you guys are interested. Okay, screenshot that. It's really good. I only pull her out for when I want some really positive messages, and it circles around change and transformation. So what are some positive messages that Aries needs to hear for their highest good? Positive messages. Gates of triumph. Success. Gates of triumph. Success expands in your life. So again, the message is these things are happening for you to experience abundance. So... It could be the ending of a few things, but it's the, it's the beginning of something else. Then we have joy and the light. Open your heart to joy. So again, once you receive um, whatever information that's coming in, release it, let it go. So this loving energy could just step in. That's what I feel for you guys. And last message, I have the great adventure. This is the beginning. Take that risk. Take that opportunity. Step forward into your new life, your new way of doing things. Okay? You you got to believe in you. You got to believe in you. And I don't even care if you feel that people are jumping in the way of your blessings. You got to believe in you. Okay? Stop sleeping on yourself. And a lot of people are going to be looking up to you within the next 90 days for leadership, for help, for guidance. I see a lot of you guys rising even though... Stuff from the past, family drama, drama, and stuff could be heavy on you. There is something to look forward to. And then we have protected by your... Guys, Archangel Michael brought me here because the reading was done. I came back because I heard, no, they need to know that I'm here. Archangel Michael, this is his energy. You are cherished by your angels. You are protected. Ooh, so... Now I can go on to the next Zodiac sign. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. I love you guys. I had to just throw that in there because they told me, despite what could be going on, you're going to win in the end. It's all going to be worth it. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye. Be strong.